Hi there folks, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Dropbox a little bit further from what we showed the other day and to use this in order to get some music that you have onto your iPad without using the iTunes account. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Dropbox website and get logged in. From there you can click on the new folder option and just make a folder that you'll call music and create that. Once you have that folder you can open it up and then you can start uploading some of the songs that you would like to have available on your iPad and you can go in here and choose files. So that's relatively simple. Alternately, if you have downloaded the Dropbox program onto your computer, you can actually I'll show you a little screenshot here. Open up your Dropbox folder and click on Make a New Folder and then Add a Music Folder and then you can just drag and drop files in that way. Then once you're on your iPad, what you're going to do is open up the Dropbox app, find that music folder, and then if you are connected to Wi-Fi you can listen to that music. Essentially you're streaming the music that you've put into that folder using the Dropbox app. If you are not going to be connected to Wi-Fi and you have some songs that you really want to be able to continue to listen to, the next step would be to select the song that you want to hear and then come over and click on the star button. When you do that, that will make that file locally available on your iPad and what you'll do is you'll have to click on the favorites. It's a tab down at the bottom here that will bring you to those songs and then you can listen to them when you're uh, out of Wi-Fi range. So that's a quick and easy way to use Dropbox to help uh, get to your music, but this is also a way to get to files that you have uh, for your classes as well.